And the floodlights are shining down on the players here in the Spanish capital of Madrid. We're at the Bernabeu. My name's Derek Ray, and joining me for commentary on this game is the former Arsenal and England fullback Lee Dixon. And we've got Champions League group stage action to look forward to. It's Real Madrid up against Juventus. Yeah, the long road to the final starts here in game one. Always think that if you win your home games and don't lose your away games, you've got a good chance of progressing. And here's the starting 11 for Real Madrid. Marcelo starts with Carvajal as fullbacks. Toni Kroos starts with Luka Modric in central midfield. And leading the line today is Karim Benzema. And this is how Juventus will line up. Wojciech Szczesny between the posts. Juan Cuadrado starts alongside Claudio Marchisio in the engine room. And leading the line today is Mario Mandzukic. Benzema. Well, he's got plenty of space on the flank here. Benzema waiting. Bale. The ball with Luka Modric. This is Gareth Bale. Here's Carvajal. Quadrado dispossessed. Rafael Varane. Oh, goodness, he was right on top of the situation to get the ball back for his team. The tackle crisp and accurate. And Mario Mandzukic able to get forward. An attempt like that, never likely to trouble the keeper. No, he's got his positioning right, but it was a poor shot in the end. Isco unable to outfox the defender. Mandzukic. Marchisio. It's with Joao Cancelo. He has teammates to play it to. Thunders clear. This is Gareth Bale. Casemiro. Marcelo. Good numerical situation. And Isco. Gaining possession. The first goal, always important, and it comes in this game from Tony Cross. Well, you tell youngsters in that position just to hit the target. You can't score unless you do, and on this occasion he does, and he scores. A chance to revisit the goal. And the match back in business, Real Madrid with the advantage. Federico Bernardeschi. It's with Joao Cancelo. That is how to put in a challenge. He's been a bit unfortunate in that the ball has gone out. Bernardeschi. Marchisio. Quadrado. Alexandro. Dybala. And he takes on the... He's likely asking himself, why did I shoot from so far out? Well, he's not the only one. I'm asking him and all his teammates are too. This is Varane. Well, back in season 1992-93, the old European Cup, as it was, became the UEFA Champions League. Back in your playing days, Lee. Yeah, absolutely. I can just about remember that far back, Derek, <laughs> to be honest with you. But it, players were a little bit cautious about the new Champions League and how it's going to take shape and the format, etc. But certainly uh, the European Cup. Competence from the keeper. Yeah, concentration for goalkeepers. He was spot on there. Corner given to Real Madrid. Short corner favoured. And a good looking ball. Goalkeeper's ball. The cross delivered too close to him. Real Madrid get the throw in. Tony Kors. Here's Ramos. Well, it was an incredible achievement winning the Champions League last season. And they'll be very, very confident they can go deep in this competition this time round. 
They'll need to ride their luck at times, but they've got top players, they really have. And the expectations of this club are huge. Got to be tough, but I'm pretty sure they're confident enough to push it all the way. Job done defensively by Marcelo. And Kors. Look at Modric. It's an accurate pass from Kors. Well, it was fired straight at the keeper. No real difficulties for him. No, decent position from the goalkeeper. Poor shot, to be honest with you. And that is that half-time here in the Spanish capital. Dominant first-half display. And so the second half is underway with Juventus, the old lady, in need of a lift. It's a weighted pass. Just couldn't capitalise there. Bale has given it away. Here he is, Mandzukic. Easy meet for the goalkeeper. Goodness, he was right on top of the situation to get the ball back for his team. Now, what can he do here? Is he going to punish them here? And crossed in there by Gareth Bale. Thumped clear. He's feeling the pressure here. But after that fantastic effort, it's gone out for a throw-in. Quadrado. Federico Bernardeschi. And now Bernardeschi. Oh, that's an interesting pass. Oh, he's missed it. Oh, goal behind Derek, and he's missed. It's a big miss. Well, it's going to be three substitutes coming on in one fell swoop for the old lady. Marcelo. That is excellent pressure high up the pitch. Isco. Danny Ceballos couldn't keep the ball. Benzema. Gareth Bale. Chiellini keeps it out. This is Gareth Bale. Karim Benzema. Well, regaining possession for his side cleverly. Benzema. Job done, ball one. Dybala. Costa with it. Lovely ball from Douglas Costa. As an attacking player, you rather hope you'll get the decision in your favour, but offside here. Yeah, the defence got that spot on, and so did the linesman. Now inside the final 20 minutes of the game. Dybala. Gorgeous ball from Dybala. Across there that was decidedly ordinary. Real Madrid have given it away. Well, let's see what he has in store for them. And they jam. Trying his luck from long range. Crossing opportunity. The tackle crisp and accurate. The ball with Luka Modric. Untidy, Gareth Bale. And here's Blaise Matuidi. Can't get past Sergio Ramos. 
Isco has it. It's with Danny Zabayos. In possession, Marcelo. This is Sergio Ramos. Ten minutes left for play in this match. Isco has it. Real Madrid moving the ball with purpose. What can they do from this position? Beautifully timed. Juventus have given it away. And in the second half, the signs are positive. Incisive pass from Douglas Costa. And the defender finding a solution to the problem. Casemiro. And Carvajal untidy in possession there. And now Douglas Costa. We've had the official word. There will be a minimum of two added minutes. And a substitution in the offing. Matsuidi. This is Sergio Ramos. And there's the full-time whistle. Maximum points for Real Madrid. Yeah, it was a good performance. Tight game, entertaining game, back and forth.